behind me is the newest and hottest and best quality fifth wheel toy hauler on the entire planet. This is a 2024 Brinkley Model G, the floor plan 3950. We're going to be taking a look at all the features on the outside and inside, and then we're going to be giving you our opinions of three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited today that we finally, we're the number one seller of Brinkley's on the planet, General RV is. But I'm finally excited that we actually have one sitting here on the lot for Will and I to give a review on it. So before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good guys, I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day and I love taking a look at these Brinkley's, checking out the new floor plans and all the new stuff that they're doing. Because like Matt said, they are the newest, hottest, uh, RV manufacturer on the market right now. Love them. Yes. Game changer. Let's begin, Will. Okay. Model is the Brinkley Model G 3950. The actual tip tip length of this unit is 45 feet 5 inches. The dry weight is 18,700 pounds. Has 150 gallons fresh water, 156 gallons gray water. 85 gallons of black water and 60 gallon fuel station. Will, do not let me see you at the campground with a 2500 in one of these things. Right. Behind you. you need a one ton truck, period. And if you can afford an even bigger truck, like a 450, America. Yeah, you really need a dually for this. Yes. This is the beautiful Brinkley Model G 3950. Everything about this unit I love except the price point. Right. So many negative YouTubers online right now crying about quality this, crying about quality that. Uh, trust me, I'm not trying to get involved in, in that crying controversy type of segment of the R2, of the YouTube universe, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's their prerogative to make YouTube videos. I get it. Well, Brinkley has answered that message with this unit. Quality, top of the line, price point top of the line you know what yeah. i'm saying but hey you get what you pay for and look at this beautiful painted molded fiberglass front cap looks absolutely awesome they're also of course using the gen y pin box right here okay which i'm not too educated on these but i heard these are the absolute best yeah right now. yeah they're supposed to ride really really well so okay cool right underneath here we do have some storage this storage does connect to um the pasture space right okay. there okay and then here, love the same latch doors. Here, you got a generator. You also have the lithium batteries. You also have hydraulic reservoirs. Awesome. Something else. This is the stuff that fires me up. That's cool, yeah. Love that. You guys don't even know until you bump your head or you scrape right. your fingers trying to hold this up. That's just fantastic. And it's slam latch. Love that even more. Again, six point hydraulic auto leveling propane tank right there you take a step back well real nice looking automotive design the the team at Brinkley doesn't know how to do a bad job you know right. what I'm saying it's just beautiful the squared off windows the automated look power awnings with LED lights it's beautiful Will check out this storage as you can see here it does pass through to that you got your Rockford sound system Look at all the lighting switches on the outside. Yep. Oh, they put the slide outs on the side too. Nice. Love that feature. Outside shower here with hot and cold water. Okay. Okay. Is that held up? Yes. By magnet, I guess. It's kind of scary though. Right. You know, I hate those lock-in clips. This is the one time I, I think I'd like right. lock-in clip. And then right here, we have an awesome Moride slide out tray. Yeah, that corner would nail you too. Uh, yeah. Right over here, Will. Another little favorite part. Ever show refrigerator. Yep. If you feed your dog fresh food or cold food or chilled food, this is a great place to have your dog food. There you go. Coming on down the side here. This is uh, this is Brinkley. They do use Asdell, even though right. they don't put the sticker there. As there, Asdell is the composite that sits behind the fiberglass, and it won't delaminate on you. Okay. Coming on up here, they do include the 
RV lock, keyless entry. Nice. Every option you want, Will. Oh, yeah. This is everything that I have on mine. Lippert screen assist, the slingshot, and the dog screen defender. Yep, I love it. Everything that you want comes on this. There is no video on a Brinkley. Of, there is no video. Hey, today I'm up. Today I'm not updating. Upgrading. Upgrading or, my Brinkley. Yeah. Brinkleys are already upgraded, bud. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Safety rail. Yep. Solid steps. What's surprising is they don't have the hydraulic assisted. That is, yep, that is a little unique. Yeah. Coming on down the side, Will. Look at these tires. They're the Coopers. I love those. They are the 215-75 R17.5 with the Dexter Easy Flex axles there. Interesting. I don't think I've seen those. Love these rims, Will. I think they look absolutely they fantastic. Do, yeah. And it's just beautiful. Triple axle. Another entrance to the garage area. Okay. Hate the fold-up steps, but at least it's the aluminum fold-up steps. Yep. So we're fine with that. Right over here, well, this is um, the, the vent. Air vent, yep. yep. For the garage area. Coming on down here, we have an awesome back rear door. This is beautiful. It comes with another power awning with LED lights. Already comes with a Furion back. Love that. For us. And then this also makes a ramp door patio. Beautiful. Cool. Coming on down, you got your fuel station right here. Okay. Again, it's 60 gallons. That's nice. That's going to be a spray port right there. No, here. that's a tank flush? Yes, that's what a spray port tank flush. Yeah. Uh, right there, Will, is that's where you hook up your sewer hose right there. Oh, right there. Okay, I didn't yep. see that. And then coming on over here, here's where you can control your port. So first, Tankless hot water heater. Okay. Love that. 50 amp power cord on electric Love wheel. That. What more do you want? Yeah. Oh, here's what more I want. Another more ride slide out tray with a ladder to get up on the roof. America. Love that. Right over here. Nautilus wet bay. Absolutely love that. And here's how you dump your gray and black tanks, all electric valves, light switch and everything. The Nautilus shower or water hookup. This is what we like. This is what we look for. Potable water fill right here. You know what I'm saying? Everything yep. that you want right here. And then right here is your controls for your auto leveling and to hook up and unhook up your truck. And then underneath here, Will, what more do you want than another freaking Moride style? Right. Tray? Oh my gosh, look at All this. All that, that's what more the, you want. Dang, that's very cool. So you can see your cameras. Does come with a TST tire. Yeah. Um, travel fi, everything, Brinkley. Owner's manual. Man, you know what would fit right there? Liquefied. Yeah. Uh, only if they did. Right. That'd be cool. I mean, if you buy from General, you'll get free liquefied. There you go. <laughs> and then wrap it on up well. Another propane tank. There you go. I love it, Will. I truthfully do love it. The outside of this unit is the best looking toy hauler on the planet, period, end of story, I said it. And the inside is one of the best looking insides of a toy hauler on the planet. The real question is, is, is it worth the price? You guys are gonna have to stick around and hear the price in just a few minutes, but for, let's take a look at the inside. Okay. Take a look, Will. All right. All right, we'll start upstairs. You have the bedroom up here. Right next to that is the bathroom. Coming downstairs is your living area, dining area, kitchen, office area, all combined in one. And then all the way in the back is the garage. Where do you want to start today? Uh, I want to start in this uh, up top. Okay. First, I want to start in the back. Okay. Guys, today's episode is sponsored by us, Liquify, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we now have the powder formula. We got the drop-ins. We even have toilet bowl cleaner and sensor cleaner. Nice. Liquify is our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. And what makes it different is that it's enzyme and bacteria based. So it's going to do what it says. It's going to liquefy your waste. Help clean your sensors and prevent that dreaded poo pyramid. Guys, check out our website, liquefiedrv.com, or you can find this on Amazon. Thank you to everybody who's helped us hit 
our dream of being entrepreneurs. That's Here right. The story. Thank you so much. We've almost sold 50,000 units. That's awesome. That's crazy. We're still poor, but <laughs> keep going well. Okay. Hey, crazy thing on my business, people. So we made some money. Yeah. But we just reinvested all the money into the business. Yeah. So we made X and spent Y. Yeah. Which Y and X equaled the same. Mm -hmm. So the total profit to me was zero dollars. I still had a tax bill at the end right. of the year. How did that happen? This well, shower is awesome. Plenty of width and depth. Really good head height in here. This is a great shower for a toy hauler. This definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. Sure is. I'm going to show this really quick, too. Well, you got um, a lock right there. Yeah. I really understand how that math... I, I like somebody to explain how that math worked for me. Yeah. Because that didn't make any sense. But, I mean, so we've been... So, for everybody who's curious, go. we've been bootstrapping our business. Right. Um, We didn't take any outside money. And we just been, oh my God, look at that trash can. Little trash can there for you. Yep. So we just been bootstrapping the business, but we still had to pay taxes. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. You know what else doesn't make sense? It's mirrored medicine cabinet. I know. This is the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, but it does feel a little bit better now. Does it? Like yeah, it feels better. Metal. There you go. Nope. You can only get the liquid and the sensor cleaner. There you go. There you go. Solid surface, nice sink, storage area. Okay. Bro, adjustable shelves. I love that. that. Did you show that shower head too? Yeah, I think so. I'll show it again just in case. You got the shower head, the handheld right here, and the water all the way down, which is really cool. Dovetail. Yep. Bro, it's so funny because all these manufacturers, they're making toy haulers. This is a prime boom position. Bing! Very nice. And they're all like, how do we save money? How do we make it cheaper? Right. Not Brinkley. Yeah. Brinkley says, how do we make it better? Yep. Look at these windows. Love these windows. Yep. Look at the inside design. We're starting with the bedroom area. Okay. They actually do use an upgraded mattress. You got some storage there. Windows and backgrounds in the back. Nice. Little cubbies on top. Very nice. Bedroom feels very roomy too, which is nice. For a toy hauler, that's ultra rare. That's as well. what I mean, yeah. Yep, you got that there. Yep. And show these drawers, sir. Okay. Thank drawers you. Here. All the way across. Yep. There. And right here. There's also power USB and USB C right there. Okay, we're all right. Very nice. And then this. And here's what I will say. You should always upgrade your mattress. Yeah. With RVMattress.com. But this one, you don't need to. Right. You still should, but you don't need to. Because you can tell this isn't that crap. Well, what it is, is like this mattress gets you by longer, but you're still going to want to like something sure. that fits your sleeping style the best. For sure. I love this. Well, look, and then they listened. They added a Oh, they did. Yeah. Well. Nice drawers. Oh my gosh, secret drawers. Yep. Good storage here. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Good storage. Good handles. Bottom bank. Dang. Didn't work, huh? There you go, brain play. Dang. Branding, love that. Yes. I actually like that. Look at that. Fits right up there. <laughs> That's a very Wash cool idea. Wash and dryer prep as well. Okay. And then here's your bed covers. Okay. Look at the lit up bar. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, if you do not have a smile on your face walking in this right. unit, you don't deserve to be in the RV industry. That's right. This unit is fantastic with what they're doing. And we're just getting started. Coming on down here, this to me is a nightmare, but we'll touch on it in a moment. Okay. First thing also I want to mention is here's the controls. And we we haven't found button overrides. Right. That might be the a dislike for me. I don't know. I hate relying on a digital touchscreen exclusive. I know, I know. Okay. 
So over here, here's the legendary living room setup. Okay. This is the best looking sofa that I've ever seen. Yeah. But right now, it's giving me anxiety. Right. So what I want you to do, Will, or what I, yeah, set it up. So this is our first time. It's yeah. our first time setting it up. And let's just show everybody how easy and or complicated it is. It's definitely like latched in somewhere. You gotta lift it. Oh, it's electric. Okay. Oh, anxiety kind of averted. All right, so there's these four buttons back here. One says travel, one says bed, one says small you. I can't see the closest one to me. So I'm assuming that says big U. Hopefully. Now here's what I will say. Maybe we're doing it wrong. Again, what we like to do, America, is we like to not, we don't want to be a super expert and just be like, hey, this is just how, you know, about a Yeah. Like we're, it's literally our first time in this unit, you know? Yeah. So we like that. And let me tell you something, Will. I do not know how we found this. Oh no, I was pushing the small U. Oh, okay. So now I'm pushing the big U button. Here's what I will say. Makes me feel a lot better that it's not like locking mechanisms mm -hmm. where I have to open it and like, like, you know, like that Fleetwood Bounder that. Yeah. Uh, does it seem like it's it? Yeah. I would hope so. I don't want it to come out any further. Okay. Set her on up, Will. Okay. Uh, this definitely was here. Oh, and there's more. There's more underneath here. Okay. Yeah, it has to lift up, of course. Yeah. That's why this was up. Yep. There we go. Got it. Oh, and it does open up more. It must, yeah. All right, let's get it open up some more. Okay, so what's it do, Will? Okay, so it doesn't push out more. This tilts back, and you lift this up, that back down, and then when you open this, you have these little bars in here. That way the back doesn't move. And then you'll do the same thing over here. That one's done, that one's done, and the middle one right here. Damn, bada bang, bada boom. There you go. Continue on, Sir William. So then we just gotta figure out what cushions go where, really. Nope. That one looks like that one goes there. I bet you it's this one. This one? Yep. I don't think that one fit. I think it's better. No, that's the back. That... Is that the back? That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Or hang on. Like yeah. a bit. Oh. No. I bet you it fits underneath. Like, and these both fit underneath. Like, it needs to. These come off. No. Yes. There it is. They're off now. Here. This one definitely goes up here. No, because that's too high now. All right, all right. There you go. What's that do? That's the middle, put that away. That's okay. the middle part for the bed. Oh, like you can make this? Yeah, up. yeah. These are gonna be all the back. Why'd you throw that? Well, this one goes here first. Nope, maybe not. Why would you even move that one? Because it's the corner. Oh, it's a corner? Oh. So it goes like, no. This one might not be used in this particular setup. I don't know. Here. Let me try. I can promise you this. Hold this. I can promise you this. This does not go here. This stays. I can promise you that. Same cushion, I think. Oh, this one goes there. 
Okay. Sorry, it's slippery. Right? Yep. This one goes here. Yep. One more right here. Oh, wait. They are labeled, but I don't think they're labeled. What do you mean they're labeled? Just B, but I don't know that. Oh, my gosh. No, it doesn't say. It just shows you the options. It doesn't well, say. Well, it's going to have an instruction on the... Yeah. Uh, no, you, the bigger one goes there probably. Hey, right? That's definitely right. There we go. We did it. How did it do it? Right? Or is that not right? Oh, you know what else it could be? Maybe this fills in somewhere? No. I can tell you one thing. I must have messed up because that zipper shouldn't be exposed. Jeez. But that's probably just flipping it. Well, due to it being our first time, we're not going to show everybody what we had to go through. This is the world's most complex sofa in an RV, period. Yeah. With that said, now that we've set it up, it takes you an hour the first time, 10 minutes the second time, yeah, one hour the third time. You know what I'm saying? It's like a pop-up. You know right. what I'm saying? Once you know how to set up your pop-up, you're good. Yeah. Um, but to learn it the first time, it's a little complicated. Check out this U-shaped dinette. Okay. But you know what, Will? No, nothing great comes easy. That's right. And look at this sofa. And here's what I will say. Like, a lot of um, trifolds or jackknives are kind of like, you feel like not super sturdy when they're in different positions. Like, right. this, it takes a minute to put together, but you are putting it together, like, right. Okay? And then really tall cabinetry. Yeah, for sure. Also, you got no balances. Really great looking windows and everything. Fantastic. And then up here, you even have storage here. Yeah. Very nice. Love it. Wow. Wowie zowie. Very, very nice. Huge TV right here. Phillips TV. You got more storage underneath here. Dude, you can't even tell. I know. It is so... I didn't even know the doors did that. Right. And you got a fireplace. And look at that. The Brinkley logo on the oh, fireplace. Cool. I do oh, love that. I don't even see that. Actually, it'd be cooler if the mountains split up. Right, maybe they do. I don't think they do. Not only that, we got a flush floor slide. Nice. But, Will, very cool, different style. I'm loving it. Okay. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> Miss Jen, please put the MSRP right here for everybody who's watching on television. Will. Yeah. It's the hottest unit out there, and it's a Brinkley, and it's a current model year, which means we're not allowed to advertise a sale price on YouTube. Right. But what we can advertise is our website, generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. That takes you to a landing page for General RV, which lets them know that you're a fan of Matt's RV reviews, and my team at General, I swear to you, will get you the absolute best price in America on a Brinkley Period. We sell them at all our stores nationwide. Yep. There's not a region in the world that we don't have a dealership close to you. I'm telling you now, if getting the best price in America is the most important part to you, which it is, reach out to our team. There you go. Well, let's continue the video. Okay. With my favorite feature about this unit. Yeah. Period. Show them, Will. Okay. Show them. Matt's favorite feature is this dinette. So it's really cool is this is kind of the travel mode. You'll slide it out for mm. more space. You slide it out even more. And then one of these inserts there. So you have tons of working space. But- The lip of the floor. Oh, there we go. It doesn't even stop there. You can pull this chair out. Oh man, they're- Man, they're secured down. You don't need to do it well, just okay. tell them. You guys can see this whole thing. Look, just just stay, stay there. Look, I got it, I got it. Okay. I, Thank you, Will. You're I got welcome. it. This moves side to side. Dining center decks, left position, right position. I 
love this. I love I know, this. That's really cool. It is fantastic. Not only that, you got these nice big windows. Will, show us this kitchen. And what are you doing with those? I don't know what these are for. But it's for the bed, right? Oh, you're right, yeah. So we'll just leave these here for now. Get these out of the way. Okay. In this kitchen, we'll start over here. Nice storage up top. GE refrigerator right here. Very nice. And freezer underneath. Right here, you do have a pantry. There's a lock up at the bottom. Wow. Tons of storage space, and I love these shelves. You can slide them up and down. Move them around however you need. Dang! Did you just know you quoted Mumbo number five? Did I? Did you not know that? No. Damn, that's funny. Dink, 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 dink. Nice storage here. Jump up and down and move them all around. <laughs> Stick your hands in the front. Dink. Okay, show me that again. Oh, there you go. Have you ever heard that song? No, I don't think so. Oh, well. Nice. Um, the, All these shelves are adjustable. They're like, oh, no, they're fully adjustable. They just like, you know, are Dang. really tight in there, I guess. Really nice cabinetry throughout the whole kitchen. You can tell everything's really nice and solid, closed as well. I love the uh, fix, the uh, drawer pulls and all that. And then right here you mm. have a silverware uh, storage thing, not drawer. And then here Dang, you have a dude. knife holder. This is a magnet right there. Dang, dude, that is awesome. It really is. And then, oh, no, those are already on. I like this backsplash. It's, they kind of took the whole like concept of uh, putting the same cabinet or countertops on the uh, backsplash. Nice extension faucet, really good color. Big single bowl sink here. A dark chrome look as well. Yep. Little sponge holder there. Storage right there. Okay. Now right here, some drawers. Well, this is a big old kitchen. It is a big kitchen. And it's so funny, like I just kind of forgot for a sec, like we're still in a toy hauler too, which is really cool. Up top here, more storage. Nice G microwave here. So nice. It's a nice big one. Convection. With an air fryer. That's cool. Dang. Right here you have a nice GE four burner cooktop and oven. Turkey tested. I think this one's turkey approved. All right. <laughs> People are starting to uh, copy insignia or whoever did it first with the big oven. So I love that. Nice storage up top here. Hit that switch underneath there. Light right switch. Here. There you go. Okay, nice. Nice one on your non-camping side. Good countertop space. Drawers here. Storage underneath. And I, yeah, I forgot that one right there. Dang, dude. They just come out of nowhere. And then over here, you have a very nice kitchen island. Solid service countertops throughout the whole kitchen. Nice cutting board here. I thought this comes out, but maybe not. And then drawer underneath for mm. more silverware. Don't tell me. Okay. Hey, that's two hundred seventy-eight dollar trash cans. What did you think it was a dishwasher for a second? Oh, that would be cool. You got the uh, another drawer. Hair curler yeah. right there. Yeah. And then storage and drawers right here. Very, very nice. Yep. I think that wraps up the kitchen. The only thing we can't find is the light switch I know, in I here. I was thinking that there's nothing here. Nope, nothing there. Interesting. Did you show both pantries as well? I did. Perfect. And then coming on in here, well, this is the reason why somebody buys this unit, and it's for this garage area. This is a huge garage, Will. Yes, it I is. I love the floor mats in here. I love the flooring, the way they do it. And right underneath here, you can see it just like this. That is the track yes. underneath the rubber parts here. They're all over. I love oh, that. Well, this is huge. This is nice. You got these beds. These beds drop down and fold up this way. So it does become a dinette as well. Top bunk bed right there. You can leave it up or you can bring it down. Three AC units, of course. And then look at this wall, Will. So first, show the loft area yep. and the TV. Nice loft space up there. You know what, let's just show all TV this. TV right here. Awesome mm -hmm. mirrored medicine cabinet here. Okay. Dude. What? Look at this. Look at this hardware. Right. I love that. Yeah, solid. It's just the little things. That's cool. Damn, dude. Bro, I'm telling you, nobody does it better than Brinkley. I know. 
But again, nobody has that price to break. Of course. Either. Yep. Pros and cons. Love that. Okay. Lift up a little. Is that what it is? It's just rough and tough. That side's definitely supposed to go in a little more. Yep, there you go, right there. Hello? There you go. Hey! Sorry, I'm silent, y'all. You're a little... A little confused. This is the first ever bathroom that I had to build myself. This is a prime poop position. Nice. Very nice. Well, this is a phenomenal bathroom. Good. Dang, that's awesome. Listen, y'all, I don't care who's building it. When you have that many moving pieces, it doesn't work. I know. Wow. Love it. And I believe these are optional, right? I don't know, actually. Okay, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I did hear that a, a lot of times with toy haulers, those are optional. Don't say Matt said it's optional. I don't know if it's optional, but... It might be, so... It's cool, man. Check with your salesperson. Check with your local General RV salesperson. That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before everybody goes, it's time that we give you three things of our opinions that we love about this unit, and three things that we don't like. Well, what do we do first? Three things we like. First? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. First things first. I love this U-shaped dinette. U-shaped couch. Yep. U-shaped couch. Where I take everything out, else out of it, like, because there are some dislikes we'll get to in a minute. You gotta watch the whole video. Yeah, but take all that out, and this is a really awesome couch for a fifth wheel toy hauler it's the best design toy hauler i've ever seen yeah in my life. yeah that's number one nothing else need to be said will what's love number two well i'm not gonna steal yours i know what your number three is I, i'm actually gonna see this kitchen talk too. to me given um again it's a toy hauler fifth wheel and you have an awesome living space and then to have this much kitchen space don't get me wrong, I don't, I'm don't. i not thrilled about this, right? But the amount of uh, countertop space that you have, the pantry space, you know, they dedicated still a lot to this kitchen. Mm, that's number two. Yep. And then well, number three for me, Yep. the dinette. Of course. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I want this to be industry standard. I want Alliance and Grand Design and Forest River and, and everybody. I want this to be... The Ford chassis. Right. I just want it to be industry standard on everything. Right. I love the concept. I love the multi-use. I love everything about it. And you know what? I think it's time. You see these fine gentlemen down here? Yep. All five of them? You see them? Yep. I think it's time we give them a fourth light. Okay. Okay? This is what people are asking for. Right. They built what people are asking for. Do not be like me and complain about the price, because I am about to complain, complain about the price. But what I mean is, you can either complain, complain about, the... about the price, or get it built the proper way, and this is built and designed the proper way. Yep. And that is such quality. Prog design quality. That's right. They nailed it. They And not with this floor plan. They nailed it as company. I agree. That is four things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And Will, I'm going to give you number one. Okay. The way this sofa is to set it up is a travesty. I agree. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Period. End of story. When it was all closed up, Jen, if you can show the pictures, you guys remember the pictures of the video? Seeing all of that, 
gives me anxiety. And combo that with like all the loose pillows. All the loose pillows, no matter what position you have it in, I feel like you know you got to find somewhere to. S and these are thick, like you know you can't just stick that under the table or whatever. Like, yeah. Not a fan of setting it up. I'm not a fan of setting up campsites. Right. This is me. It's an opinion to set it up is a travesty. That's, but, but again, nothing great comes easy. Yeah. And with that said, to reiterate on my first, this is the best living room I've ever seen in a toy home. Yeah. So what do you do? I hear you. That is dislike number one. Well, dislike number two. Dislike number two for me is going to be where this auto leveling control is. Well, first I'm like hitting my head here, right? Well, you're too, uh, well, I'm too I, tall. Well, what do you mean you're hitting your head? You huh? have that issue? No, I don't have that issue. Uh, if you're an average type person, Damn. you're going to have an issue. And I also can't see my hitch from standing here until I get all the way up here. Okay. Which, you know, it's just a big pain. And that's, I feel like a lot of accidents happen when you're hooking and unhooking. So I want to be able to see everything really, really clear. That's dislike number two, Matt. What's dislike number three? That's dislike number two. And then, Will, do you have a dislike number three? I do. Yep. Um, nope. Hey. Me and Will are best friends. Yeah. We did not talk about it. I saw your eyes. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say if you didn't have one. Um, Tell me, Will. Hang on, hang on. Dude, I'm your best friend. What's this like number three? So this comes from personal camping experience. This floor plan on paper, probably even on camera, looks phenomenal. But this whole section here, especially this passway, this kitchen, in real life use is gonna feel so tight and uh yeah, just no, there's no flow. Flowometry. Yeah. The flowometry is going to be tighter. I mean, you can barely walk straight here, where, like, in our fifth wheel, this whole area is mostly open, and even then, we still feel a little tight, you know? I And I know it sounds kind of dumb, because, like, on paper, on video, it looks right, but, uh, yeah, it, it just does not flow well. And for practical use, basically. And... It's important to know that it's just like, it just depends if, if you don't need a toy hauler, I personally wouldn't get this floor well, plan. Yeah. Also, if you're a single person, it doesn't matter. Right. You're not trying to flow with anybody. Right. You know, it, it just depends on, you know what? I take that back if you're not in the market for a toy hauler. It just depends on who you are, how big of a person yep. you are, and how much flowometry is important to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, the... The water's definitely still over here, and yep. it is a little tight. But at the same time, well, I mean, it is what it is. How much can you possibly pack up? And again, the exactly. thing to remember is that this is an amazing luxury fifth wheel with a garage on the Yeah, water. I agree. And truthfully, it doesn't flow well for us because we have dogs. Exactly. That's a big and part. there's a place for trash cans. Yep. You know, and again, Will's getting this from his experience with this rear kitchen fifth wheel. His doesn't Which flow Which is similar so well. floor plan. Exactly. But here's what I will say to complement it. This dinette that goes in, tons Helps of space. a lot, yep. This being the smaller U-shaped dinette or U-shaped Yeah, but then, see, I don't like that because then it's so tight. You're not even sitting that many people, so. Pros and cons, Will. There's yeah. definitely, if you want to have a luxury fifth wheel with a garage, there you, you got to go. make it work with the flow on That's it. right. But again, overall. And also, again, and it depends, like. If the garage is what's most important and you just need somewhere to sit somewhere, and you don't even cook that much, you just need some frozen pizzas, this probably isn't the floor plan for you. You know what I mean? Right. We haven't had that in a minute. Right. But if the garage is more just like storage for your toys and you want good seating and you want a bigger kitchen, you know, yeah, you got to look at this. The question that comes to everybody's mind is what floor plan is for you. Yeah. They make several different floor plans. The question that shouldn't come to mind is, is Brinkley the right fit? Because if quality is what you're looking for in a toy hauler, then look no further than the That's Model right. T. Period. Period. Uh, period. Uh. There End you go. Story. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to become a Brinkley owner, please reach out to my team at General RV. It is generalrv.com slash matscash. They are way more knowledgeable about me than this product, and they will be able to answer the nuts and bolts questions that you guys might have on a Brinkley and if they don't know it, they'll reach out to the factory reps and they'll get it answered for you. Again, this is just our opinion-based show that we love to give our feedback based off of our camping styles. Because 
We don't just pretend to have campers. We actually do RV. We're actually headed to a rally right now after this video. That's right. It's what we do, guys. And so we really enjoy it. And we really enjoy, we really appreciate Brinkley giving General RV the opportunity to sell their product. Because it's been, it's a lot, you know, Will? What? It's a lot of fun watching these units. I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you. Filming these units, I mean. Yep. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. And a uh, huge thank you to Brinkley for mixing it up. And again, bringing the quality instead of just focusing on the price point. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about it. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so yeah, much for watching. You. And Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.